working well. I am Dr. Milin. So after NEET PG and uh, INICT results were out, a lot of students are thinking about giving one more attempt. So it's not like you just start when you start preparing. You need a proper plan and approach depending on which rank range you were in the previous attempt. Because there were some lacunas and some deficiencies in your preparation which need to be addressed in a particular manner. So here I am, this is the part 2 of the video where I address the students who scored rank 20, more than 20,000 in last NEET PG exam and more than 3000 in INSAT exam and I am going to propose few uh, plans and few advices for this uh, group. So let's start uh, today's video. So I have divided them into two groups. First group is those who have rank of 20,000 to 60,000 uh, in NEET PG 2022 and which is equivalent, I, have, I am considering it equivalent to rank 3000 to 20,000 in INICT and also those students who have rank more than 60,000 in NEET PG 2022 that is the second group and rank of more than 20,000 in INICT and who want to uh, repeat the exam one more time. So first if you have seen the past one uh, uh, part one of this video few things might be repetitive for you. So first about a planned approach. So why it is important to have a planned approach because see in exam it is important to know the exam that you are attempting. If you have seen the NEET PG 21 and 22 question paper or even INICT, you will realize 68.5% of the questions can be solved by your knowledge from the rank building subject which are your first and second prop subject along with PDI, ENT and OFTAL. 25.5% questions can be solved your knowledge from rank deciding subject and 50% of the questions can be solved by your rank maintaining subject which are your huge subjects medicine, surgery, PSN, and OBSGYN. Now you will say sir, uh, everybody says not to give much importance to the big subject, I mean it takes a lot of time but they have a higher weightage like half of the question paper is coming from them. Then why not to concentrate solely upon, uh, I mean mainly upon these subjects. I will tell you the reason why. See when we have, when we uh, solve the grand test or when we attempt this question from this subject, you will see it is very easy to achieve higher accuracy in rank building subject which are your basic sciences because these are mainly data based and they are based on the recalls. So you can definitely go and uh, ha you know uh, like these are basically database so single liners so you can have a higher accuracy in them. Similarly short subjects also they don't change much with time there are no like lot of recent advances in those subjects and these are also again one liners and data based. So the accuracy can be higher contrary to which the large subject like your uh, rank buildings uh, rank uh, mentoring subject which are your big four. The accuracy is usually lesser because they are clinical questions and clinical question can have very confusing answer can have two based answers and sometimes you know there will be some contrast of opinion. So no matter how much your command is on the subjects the accuracy is less uh, that is achieved in the test as compared to the other subject. That is why our focus should be your basic sciences which are your rank building subject and rank deciding subject which are your uh, short subjects which together formulate the 70 to 80 percent of your question paper like the 70 to 80 percent of the question paper can be solved by knowledge from this subject and that is actually uh, going to decide your rank. Now let's start uh, today's discussion. So ab about the first group the students who had rank between 20,000 to 60,000 in NEET PG 2022 and INI rank of 3,000 to 3, uh, 20,000. So let's talk about what went wrong. So first of all you have to review your source. I am not saying that your source is bad or your source is not adequate but see that you have all 19 subjects notes like well written and uh, well covered because there are some students who are doing their internship or doing the job as well but they are not able to attend all the classes so some notes are not uh, fully prepared. So I am not saying that you change the source you just review your source first if you feel that your all 19 subjects notes are good if you have directly bought them like printed notes then that is also okay. Then you finalize that you are one subject and one source. If you are ha happy that my all 19 subject notes are good, that is okay. If you feel my anatomy, my physiology notes are not good and I need to buy some other classes, do that now only. But make sure you have one subject, one source and then you formulate a proper plan. Now whenever you make a plan, make a long term plan and make a short term plan. So how to make that? I have already released videos for planner for INICT November and for next and NEET PG exam. So you can take that help to make a long term plan to plan your reading and revisions and to make a daily plan to divide your theory and MCQs. The order that you have to follow is you have to build your rank building subject first followed by rank deciding followed by rank maintaining subject. Now why it is important that you have to strengthen your rank building subjects first that is your first and second prof subject. Unless and until you make don't make them strong you are not going to end up in top 20,000 ranks no matter how much you uh, do. So what is uh, advice I want to give you that 
you have you strengthen them irrespective of how much time it takes don't limit them with time don't say that i am going to allot only 9 days in for anat and if i am if i am not able to finish anat in 9 days i will leave it you have to finish this subject first and once this uh, subjects are strong i can promise you that they will help you to answer questions even from your medicine and surgery so make this subject strong first now how to now uh, what is the best way to assess your weaknesses and wh- what are your weak areas then that will be your grand test so whenever you write a grand test don't just see the score and rank here is the expected percentage so if you have this percentage accuracy percentage in this particular areas your expected score is to be land between 550 to 600 which will fetch you a very good rank now it's possible that for example subject like physio uh, physiology and biochemistry you might find them hard and you might not be able to achieve this accuracy so you can make up for this subject in surgery and psm where you can try to improve your accuracy a little bit so one subject can make up for another so you can highlight all the subject where your accuracy is less and you can keep working on them what you require is a consistency for example here you can see in ent uh, if your accuracy is consistent between like 70 to 80% that means this subject is strong so this is how you divide your subject is strong or weak not by just you know if you feel that my ent is strong no that that is not how you should say you should see if you are consistently getting a good score in ent make such spreadsheet and you will understand okay this subject is strong if you see that you know so like pediatrics you getting good percentage one time bad bad score one time so that does not mean your subject is strong it is just telling you by chance you are getting this score so make sure you get a consistent score and identify your weak areas now let's try to address the problems so first divide your subject into weak and strong if your strong if your subject is strong continue doing the same what you are doing if your subject is weak divide it into rank building rank maintaining and rank deciding so if your subject belongs to the ram building rank building that is your weak subject you have to do your notes you have to watch the videos to solidify your concepts if your sub- weak subject belong to the rank maintaining do the high yield areas and i have already uh, high yield topics i have already released these topics and if your subject belong to the rank deciding which are your short subject do lot of pyqs so here in a tab table i have given the problem and the solution so if your concepts are weak for a particular subject go and watch videos go and read the class notes and solve more and more clinical mcqs so that will test your concepts if you have lot of problems while recalling then you can solve lot of modules so see classes provide lot of things like if you see one class that will provide you videos plus q bank plus custom modules plus there will be a uh, lot of uh, gts there will be some visual areas there will be some like pearls or some kind of things that will be provided so there are lot of things a class provide but if you are paying a money to a class that it does not mean that you have to read and see everything you have to identify your problem and you have to address it accordingly like for big subject like medicine surgery psm obs gyne you cannot read it page to page so identify high yield topics i have released already video on it and you cannot do the whole q bank for these four subjects it will take a huge amount of time and that is not required so do the random modules or do the modules from these subjects where you find the particular areas which are difficult and for rank building and rank deciding subject again you don't have to go through the whole q bank there is not much changed over a decade in this subject so you can just rely upon pyqs for this subject so this is how you should approach the problems now if you uh, see further as i have said that you assess your gt you list what are your weaknesses and then you spend more time on theory custom modules you should st- uh, solve for your difficult and weak topics you have to spend less time on gts you know lot of students have this obsession with gts and they want to see what rank and what you know score they get if you are in this particular rank group spend less time on gts spend more and more time on uh, your uh, theory and use time effectively and efficiently as i have advised so whenever you give gt like once your theory is done and you sol- start solving your gt divide your mistakes of gt into three types if it is a conceptual error like if you are if you are solving mcqs and you are uh, feeling that i am doing lot of mistakes in the concepts then go back and watch the videos so you can make your strong sub- uh, your concept strong again and read your notes if you are making analytical error solve more clinical based questions so your critical thinking will develop See, it is very important to develop a train your brain to you know assess certain clinical scenario and then to reach a correct answer. For that, you have to solve more and more questions, so your brain will be trained. If you are doing a recall error, for example, biochemistry enzymes or drug of choices, 
then you have to make lot of charts and mnemonics and stick it to the wall and at least try to revise them weekly so you don't forget them so this is how you approach the mistakes that you are committing now you also need a proper revision so as i have said that make your plans properly and you should know your notes well work and study now if you are belong to this group uh, rank group and if you think that you want to work also because of the family problems or any other issues i will advise to cut tight a light job because it's a difficult task you know to stay motivated for so long and you have to address your deficiencies so it can be a difficult so if uh, you are uh, if there are some conditions and situation that uh, you know ask you to take a job uh, look for a light job like in a blood bank and stay highly motivated i have released one planner for those students who are working or are interns so you can follow uh, that if you follow a planned approach you can definitely improve lot of students between this uh, rank group between 20 to 60k they ask me sir can i do better definitely see you are somewhere here like say let's say to uh, 340 if you improve your score by 60 marks so that that means if you just uh, get like 10 to 15 questions more right your rank will improve for for more than like almost half like from 60000 you will be in a 30000 range just by improving 10 to 15 questions so remember this that you are not very far away so with your hard work and with your dedication you can even leap further if you want to join some classes i will not recommend full class you will because it will take a too much time do not watch all the videos i'll recommend if you want uh, to join something test and discussion will be better choice for this uh, particular group and you can definitely follow that now coming to the final group the students who are more than 60000 in neat pg and more than 20000 in inict guys i have uh, maybe i i have uh, like whatever i want to say it's time to be serious if you really want to pursue post graduation i mean honestly you have to understand your flaws and you have to be positive toward criticism see once you get a rank like this your friends are not going to say that you are not studying properly you have weaknesses and you need to be serious they are just going to tell you that you are going to uh, do great and you are going to improve further but they are saying it just to make you feel better and you know not to because nobody is going to be honest with you but you have to take the pro- positive to uh, criticism and you have to understand and you have to understand that you have a problem and you need to work on that first finalize your source make sure you have a complete source make sure you have all 19 subjects well don't just open a random book and start reading make sure you have a proper notes you have at least seen the videos and you can spend time on your basic sciences watch videos for basic sciences try to understand the concepts and then move forward see time that you are going to spend on understanding your concept is never a waste of a time rather than you know i will say just plan one read and just plan two revisions in the time that you have so even if you plan like one read and two revision that is enough rather than doing like five useless uh, revisions so first make sure you understand the concepts you understand the you know subject and then move forward your improvement is definitely easy but you will need dedication the students who are in this group they have around less than around 300 marks so if you want to improve the rank by 100 marks so that means you need to just improve 20 questions and your rank will be further improved but there is a lot of hard work that you have to do so first make a proper plan and you have to follow it with consistency and honesty so i have released uh, a planner where you can find a long term plan and a short daily plan where i have shown that in over next few months 5 uh, to 6 months how can you properly plan all your subjects all your revisions so take help of these two videos which are there on my channel and formulate a plan first make a rank building subject like your first and second prop subject first work on them make sure you have a good command on them and then only move next just don't keep it you know lot of i have seen that lot of students from this group they directly start with medicine and surgery because they want to start the preparation no don't touch your this subjects unless and until you are you have a command on your basic sciences i know anatomy physiology biochemistry is very boring but that is what going to fetch your rank because you know it lot of students find it difficult and boring and they you know Uh, instead they start spend more time on medicine subjects like medicine surgery and that is the reason they are stuck in this rank zone so first f- make sure that your rank building subjects are strong then go to the rank deciding and then go to the rank maintaining subjects now i will say that focus more on theory you don't you know let go the obsession about the grand test lot of students who are in the, this uh, range group they give lot of jt just to see where they stand you already know where you stand where you stand give jt's only when your theory is complete so when your your uh, first reading is complete and when you are in the halfway in your revision 
that is the time when you start giving your grant test if you waste your time see giving a grant test it takes a lot of time 3 hours to give gt then 5 hours to you know analyze it i will say instead of analyzing it in one go spread it over a week and like 50 questions each day and that is how you analyze your gt and then work on it you have to go slow if you go slow you and be consistent you will improve but if you keep doing the same mistakes again and again you will stuck in this rank zone of more than 60000 select suitable environment for studying see if you feel that there are a lot of things that are affecting if the job is not letting you study find a better job find a lighter job if you feel that you are not able to study at home shift to library shift to other city if you need to chase your dreams and have friends with the similar regions see just don't write the exam just for the sake of it lot of students in this group they just write the exam because you want to write the exam see this is really a waste of your time your money and your energy and you are further getting depressed after seeing the rank so don't do that and you can definitely watch online classes you can join classes you can watch videos to build your concept and it's not a waste of time if you feel that i will just read notes i will not watch videos because it is taking a lot of time but watching a video and understanding concept it will save your further time so decrease your one revision you can let one go one revision and replace it with uh, and you know spend that time on the videos now work and study this is a very difficult question for this group if you are highly motivated and disciplined definitely you can do work study and Uh, together see if you are someone whose ultimate target is pg but you have to do the job along with it then you have to be disciplined i have already released one video uh, where you i have shown that how can you plan uh, that you know like during work hours whenever you are working whenever you have a clinical posting try to do the mcqs whenever you are at home uh, like at your ease try to read the theory because theory needs more concentration so divide your time uh, you know smartly so as i have said that if you belong to the uh, this group the improvement is definitely easy and you can improve but you need a lot of dedication so once you are done with your theory you start giving your grant test so this is what your uh, accuracy the target to this accuracy even if you are able to reach closer to this accuracy rate it is good and then look for the problems suppose you are having understanding the concepts go for the videos and class and solve more of a clinical mcqs if you are doing lot of recall mistakes solve modules if you have a problem with big subject lot of students say sir i am not able to cover the big subject there is no re- no reason to cover medicine surgery psm of gynae from page to page you have to know the high top high yield topics from them don't solve the whole q bank you don't have so much of time go for the random modules and for rank building and deciding subject which are your first and second prof and short subject go for previously asked questions because these subjects don't change much with time as compared to your clinical sciences and uh, finally i would just like to give you some insight a wise man once said don't be afraid to start over again this time you are not starting from the scratch you are starting from experience so no, no matter which uh, rank group you belong to 20000 60000 or 1 lakh you have that experience you have faced the exam you have seen the questions so you know what areas to be addressed there is no self development without self awareness you can read as many books as you like but if you are unable to read yourself you will never learn a thing so try to understand your flaws your limitations your weaknesses your deficiencies and what are your strengths and you need to work on them unless and until you address these areas you are not going to improve the more you aspire to and try to replicate be like someone successful less the chances to become like them originality is something you cannot replicate see the students who belong to this particular groups which i discussed most of the times they feel very helpless and you know they feel worthless they feel like i will never achieve anything in my life but you know i have i'm going to release one uh, interview soon where a student who had rank of 90000 who like almost 1 lakh rank who improved to the rank of 3000 so and he did not try to replicate anyone you have to add the personalized touch to your preparation you cannot just copy anyone see i am giving you the ideas i am giving you the plans i am giving you you know some ideas that how can you improve your study methods but that does not mean that you can copy it you have to add your personal touch because i cannot be in your shoes and you cannot be in my shoes you have to understand what problem that you have and lastly more the most important line for this group the discipline will take you where motivation can't see you cannot like motivational videos and motivational lines you know they become blunt after a while but if you are disciplined that you will study between these hours you will study no matter how much you are tired because your dream matters you will definitely succeed so guys these are the things that i wanted to tell you and i hope this video helps you so i wish you all the best and i hope all your dream comes true take care